My mother-in-law, her name is Kim, has been with us the last few weeks, and I think she's going to be with us a few more weeks. And the timing couldn't be per- more perfect because um, we're working on the Trillium door, and my mother-in-law, she loves little tiny detail projects, and so I asked her if she would clean off the glue. And she got into the project, and about an hour after she was into it, she thanked me, and she said she was having a great time. So I'm very grateful, and it's looking really good. I removed the refrigerator, and it wasn't that difficult. There were two screws in the back, there were two screws in the front, and there was a piece of plywood right here that the refrigerator sat on top of. Um, So I removed those four screws. Um, I cut these two wires. Uh, These were connected, of course, to the back of the refrigerator, and they were just wired right in. There was nothing to unscrew, so I just had to clip them. Um, I had to disconnect the propane, and I decided just to cut it right off because I'm actually going to be eliminating that propane line um, as we're going to do a 12-volt cooler in here instead. And there was this surround on the back of the refrigerator. It wasn't screwed to this at all. Um, I think it looks like this was at one time double stick taped, um, maybe glued to the back of the, the back wall here. And um, but it just came out as soon as I as soon as I disconnected the um, the propane and the um, the electrical that came through those two wires. I guess this would have sat like this. And then I also had to yeah. So here's the. Propane came through here, I think. Electricity came through here. And then there was that 110 plug that came through there. I tried to save that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. So once I had those screws removed and those lines cut, it just, it pulled right out. It took some, a little, it took a little encouragement from the back, pushing on it. And those back panels, by the way, I just used a drill and drilled out the rivets. And those came out pretty easy too. My friend, Matt, came over to help me out and uh, he helped me specifically with removing all of the windows from the Trillium. And I think it took us a couple of hours. Again, not terribly difficult. I don't think some of this destruction stuff is. It's putting it back together. That's probably going to be a bit more challenging. And uh, first thing we'd had to do is pull off the black screw cover, plastic screw, screw covers. And some of that was pretty well glued on with caulking and glue and layers and years of stuff and just as we were getting to the back window some friends dropped by so I want you to take a moment to meet them all right so Matt and I were working on taking out the windows of the Trillium as you saw and then our good friends at Shea Delphine stopped and brought us some what crepe crepe (laughs) say it the right way okay Eh, crepe now now most of the people that know about Trilliums are actually Canadian oh so many of them speak French. Okay, that's good. So, can you tell them that these are the best crepes? Yes, they are. Vive le Québec libre. Too bad you cannot enjoy this delicacy. Yes, oh, yes, say something in French. I mean, this uh, is a French. Uh, je je suis venu à porter des crêpes à mes amis et uh, ça me fait très plaisir de partager ces petites gourmandises avec eux. Les meilleures crêpes du monde. Et mon mari en a chipé une alors qu'il n'aurait pas dû parce que c'était pour leur famille, mais tant pis, c'est comme J'ai ça. J'ai encore de rêve, donc c'est pas grave. <laughs> donc euh, voilà, so, à all bientôt. Right. All right, so now, for those who are watching anywhere near Boulder, Colorado, which is where we're located, how do they, what did you just say? You, you got to translate and talk about Shea Delphine. And uh, if you want to go on a camping, camping trip and you just want to have some yummy food, just go to Chez Delphine. And you can go to uh, Sweet. I'll put the link in the description. Right, we'll put that in the description. Yeah, we'll we'll put that in the description. (laughs) But you will have 20 products to choose from. So a lot of yummy things, fresh, made from scratch by a French lady. And I want to say to the millions of viewers out there, (laughs) who uh, I know that since you've been watching Paul, you all want to do the one thing. And since I'm here, I'm going to do it for you. I'm going to touch his luscious hair. Oh, come on, stop it. That's for you. Okay, no more. There we go. See? It's, amazing. it's even better in, in life. <laughs> so I thought I'd show you a view from inside the Trillium. For some reason, I found it just a little bit easier to open the window slightly when we were pushing the windows out. I think maybe just because it gave me more of a grip on the window places to grab onto. And really, there wasn't any glue 
holding in the window, it was, I mean, you know what I mean? It was, it was all on the outside and it was the screws. And so once the screws were, were, were removed and the kitchen window had some rivets on it, but once the rivets and once the screws were removed and we peeled away the caulking as much as we could, then it was just a matter of pushing the window out. So you're gonna see that. And I probably won't say a whole lot more. If you have any questions, you're, feel, feel free to ask in the comments but hopefully that just by watching this, you can get a pretty good idea of what we did and how the project went.